So my name is uh, Tibor Todt. Uh, I would like to uh, start uh, with the notion of the challenges and uh, to make a strong point about uh, the notion of triers and failures. Triers and failures. Whether in the world where we are, without repeating all the challenges we have enumerated and we are aware of, can we base ourselves with the system of systems of global governance on trials and errors, which is underlying practically so many aspects of our life, starting with the economy and business and science and technology, and uh, I can continue. My point is a question mark. You can address this issue, whether we need, uh, instead of trials and errors, something which, which I call trials and triumph. Whether the world we are living in, as I mentioned earlier, is too big to fail. And I don't have the time to demonstrate it on, on these letters, just on A and B and C, nuclear, biological, chemical, but you can continue with all the different technological aspects. If anything goes wrong with this system, uh, this will be something at different levels, extremely complex as a major calamity, but some of the implications are going as far because the environmental consequences and the biodiversity where it might be becoming non-reversible. The other uh, question is, and this is again a question mark, uh, there, there is this uh, book, This Time is Different, about uh, 800 years of uh, repeating uh, uh, curves of uh, financial, economic, and, and sovereign uh, meltdowns. So is this time really different, with a question mark? Are we in a world where bad things cannot happen? And uh, there are two potential questions that no, this time is not different, and uh, there might be a repetition of those uh, ups and downs with, with calamities, and I might later on show one here. Or there is a yes answer as well. This time is different because we have to make sure that somehow we soften the impact of what is emerging from the trial and errors. And this is, this is the necessity, a, a big, big letter M carved out on the necessity, because it's easy to enumerate all the global challenges, but it's very difficult to foresee a pathway where in a complex system, uh, Frank is uh, referring to, and with all the complex system subsystems uh, we are aware of, how to, how to find a pathway where we can, where we can uh, walk uh, through. On, uh, on a narrower context, I would like to come back to a bit to challenges for what I call global governance slash global regulations. And uh, from my perspective as someone who was running a, a an organization at the interse intersection of um, diplomacy and um, sciences and technologies, the, the way the world is moving, first of all, we are fighting the previous crisis with the, with the regulations and the governance, meaning pre-1945, because we inherited with some adjustments, that system. This is number one. Number two, I try to make a point about that, that the all-inclusive, really global arrangements are losing traction and there is a fatigue with cooperation and uh, they are being emptied, if you understand what I say. 
to a certain degree it's good if um, more viable arrangements like medicine on some frontier are taking over but my guess is that there is a vacuum left behind while being emptied and the new actors moving in there is a great great gray area which is left unattended and on issues like global epidemics as an example i gave i think it might be fatal for the for 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 the future the right mix between <laughs> Uh, the all-inclusive and the what I call the uh, plurilateral arrangements going down from G40 and 20 and 8 and 5 and uh, now there's G2 and some speak about G1 <laughs> and uh, in a normal world in a normal world there we have to be a mix of, of all that so I, I don't <coughs> think that we should we should uh, say no 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 we, we are just believing in one but the trick will be how to have the right mix where there is an important element the, as a function of time we are moving in and as a function of time on this graph you can see that there are there are times which are pretty much steep uh, increase of problems and crises coming together the uh, absence of uh, certain segments like business and academia and science from the global governance, yes, they are there in IPCC, in many of the technology diplomatic conferences I was presiding, but they are being supervised. There are minders <laughs> how, far, how far, for example, scientists can really define what is the, in the next report of the IPCC or how far um, the, the business interests are being uh, harmonized with the, with the more global interests. There are limitations to that, to that as well. Civil society, I see, I see very positive, I see very positive uh, engagement. At the same time, uh, they are still marginalized in many fora. What we call collective intelligence, is not used to the level. There is a conflict uh, between global governance dominated as a result of the pre-45 uh, sorry, the uh, 45 arrangements, UN, uh, and the, the new realities.